What's up guys, Ulf Snurcho here and today we're showing off some new pops that we got. And of course they're the new solo pops, so we obviously do not have all of them as you can see there. I'm just picking and choose because I wanted to wait to see what um, characters I thought were cool or would be somewhat important throughout the movie because a lot of times, um, usually with Star Wars pops, like I collect Star Wars, you can't really see them from here, but behind here I have all the pops and then up top on top of the desk here I have a huge stack of all the different pops of all the characters and stuff and some, for, so like from The Force Awakens, Rogue One, um, The Last Jedi and stuff, I, well Last Jedi is when I kind of switched from that I didn't, um, I had bought all the characters and then I see the movie and there's a character that's like just in the background for one second and so it's like there's no point of having those characters so I wanted to see Solo first and I didn't like necessarily like the way the look uh, some of the pops and everything so I wanted to wait and see the movie see what characters I thought were important or cool and so I went ahead and just picked up a couple that I thought and of course there's all the characters on the back at least that are like non-exclusive versions um, and stuff that are there and I got um, pretty much all the characters um, I didn't get the Mud Trooper which I do want but it was like an exclusive through the Funko Shop, so I missed that on that one. And then L337, um, which of course was kind of somewhat an important character. Um, I didn't see her when I bought all these. Um, and then like I like Rio Durant, the little um, like monkey looking guy there. But he is such a small part of the movie. Like, there's no point of having him. But we're going to go through and look at each one of these pops that I have in the individual stuff. We'll just kind of look at them. So of course we'll start off with Han Solo here, the first one. Which we do have our uh, pack we got from our Funko box here. The Han Solo and Chewbacca when they were both in prison together. Um, but this is just the normal Han Solo, so let's go ahead and look at it. So here he is. It's the young Han Solo, the Alden Ehrenreich, I think is his name, that played Han Solo. And I like in pop form, it does look a lot like Han Solo. Obviously, the character didn't look exactly like him in the movie, but I think the pop does look like a um, really good young version of Han Solo. I like his outfit. Of course, it's just his normal style that he wears in the movie and stuff, so it's nothing different there. Um, but I like all the clothing, like his... It's got his leather jacket, of course, that's kind of different in the movie here compared to what he wears later on in the, you know, original trilogy. But he's got the jacket there that um, I believe he gets from um, Beckett, the... Uh Woody Harrelson character, I don't remember for sure, but I think that's where he got it from. I can't remember, though, because it does look like it has some sort of design there on the patch. Um, then, of course, he's got the gun that he got from Woody Harrelson's character there, um, his normal blaster. Then, of course, he's got a belt on with a pocket here that they actually put, like, a hole in the pocket. Obviously, you can't put the gun in there because it's stuck in his hand, but I like how they put that detail. Usually, just be, like, a pocket on the side. It's got some sort of um, little canister type thing there on the side. I don't know what it's supposed to be for sure there. And then, of course, he's got an imperial pants and boots on because he you know was in the Empire for a little bit until he left um, so there maybe I may talk spoilers in this so if you haven't seen Solo and don't want to know um, you may want to leave but so there we have Han Solo so next up it's my favorite character out of this whole set Chewbacca and I went ahead and got the box lunch exclusive flocked version because when I bought Chewbacca I was like I know there's a flocked and so I wanted that version and I saw it was box, box lunch which I was like cool because we just got a box lunch here at our mall that's just down the road from us and so I was super excited about that. So I was like, oh, that's a good reason. Because we've only been to it once before. The last time we went to the mall. And that's when we first found out we had box lunch. And so we went there and picked this up. So let's go ahead and look at it. So here he is in all his furriness. So again, a flock version has like fur on it. If you can see some of it there. It doesn't obviously always look the best. And he looks like he has a few marks. But it's hard to tell with flock. Because you know, it sometimes like rubs off and everything. And there's some stuff down on the base side. That you can see in the light and everything. But some of like the flocking rubbed off onto the base and everything. But but here we have Chewbacca, so he's wearing his goggles that he wears when they're on, like, the, um, doing the train heist attack in the snow and everything. He wears the goggles there, and so they put him in that. Then he's got his new gun. It's not his bowcaster, but it's a new gun, but I hardly ever remember him using it in the movie at all. So I didn't, I must not have paid enough attention, but it kind of looks like a shotgun because it looks like it's got a little pump on the front. Um, but not exactly sure. Then, of course, he's got his double bandolier, at least across the front, you know, on both sides. And comes around to one on the side with the little satchel there. And it's got a bunch of different, like, grenades or, um, like, rockets um, all around the bandolier. And then he's just all flocked and furry. So that's why I wanted this one a lot. Because, um... From The Force Awakens, they started making the Flock Chewy, at least that's the first one I got. And so, um, I think I've gotten the Flock Chewy with everyone they've made since then. And so I wanted to keep it again and again. Having the box lunch and everything just made that work out perfectly. So we have the Flock Chewbacca. 
And next up here we have Lando Calrissian, of course the Donald Glover character, which was really fun to see in the movie and I liked the way he portrayed Lando. To me it was a lot closer to Lando than um, all night Aaron Reich was to um, Han Solo. And so I thought like the way he tried to do his voice and everything, it reminded me a lot more of Lando. But um, so we got a Lando here, so of course there's it looks like Donald Glover, so it's got the hair. And I like the design and stuff they put into the hair. Um, that's one new thing about the newer pops that they put a lot more detail than just the you know flat hair that they used to do um so then goes and so of course he's got his facial hair and everything going on with the like little mustache there and then um he's got a little uh, like soul patch thing and then of course has a strap under his chin of like a thin beard there um then going into his outfit so he's got a yellow um shirt on there kind of like what he normally or you wore in the old original trilogy and he's got an all black cape this is just one variation from the movie where it's obviously different clothes and there's other pops of it then he has like a, a scarf or a tie it looked just like an undone tie in the movie but it, he always has one of those hanging around his neck as well then he's going to a black pants and black shoes there nothing real special um but it has a belt on of course with a um holster on the side for the gun that he is holding here um, as you can see there, it's just an all silver gun. I don't re really remember, I remember him shooting in the movie, but I don't remember his gun being anything special or anything like that. Um, and there's nothing really other special. He does have a gold ring on his finger. There had been cool if like on his um, arm here, he the thing of his sleeve was kind of sticking out that he holds the cards with and stuff when he cheats um, playing Sabic. Um, so that would have been cool if they did that. But that's it for the Lando. The next up here we have the range trooper and so this is one of my favorites um i like all the like different stormtrooper types and that they make in all these movies so this is one i really wanted and i like this character a lot and i have the six inch black series figure of it as well and i just love it. it's probably one of my favorite figures out of all the black series that i have and so we have the stormtrooper um modified helmet it looks more like one of the rogue one helmets that they've repainted um, I forget which trooper it is from Rogue One, but it looks like one of those, kind of like the tank trooper or something I think it is, that they've repainted all white instead of the tan like it was. Um, then going into his costume, so he's wearing all white, so it reminds me a lot of the Hoth, uh, the stormtroopers on, the snow troopers I should say. And so it reminds me a lot of that, but it's got the fur up around here on its chest, it's um, hard to see, it'd been cool if that was like flocked or furry in this version as well uh, but it's got the fur around there and then it's I thought it had some fur else but it has some like you know um, fuzzy or fur, fur stuff sticking out right under the bottom of the jacket there then he's got a um, long white gun as you can see there a rifle of some sort then of course it's got the normal like stormtrooper like chest plate and everything probably some sort of like breathing system because it goes around onto its back as well and then it's just um, normal like you know it's got a jacket and normal white pants and everything then it's got these boots of course that are like magnetized boots that they use on the train heist and so it allows them to stick onto the side of the train and not have issues with falling off and everything and um it has all the different magnetic stuff going on back there and the blue and red um little things there at least yeah it's blue on this but i assume it's blue in the movie i can't remember if it's blue or green but of course when they magnetize it switches colors to show you that you know that they're magnetizing and of course then the train tilts and they stick with it and everything and so i really like the troopers from the mo sh mo uh, movie even though they weren't in there very long but i thought it was really cool so that's it for the range trooper and our last character, we have Infest Nest. So again, this is one of the characters that we can probably have the biggest spoilers on or anything. So we found out in the movie, of course, from the trailer presented that this was probably the the like big villain in the movie, which turned out it was sort of a villain like at the start because um, it was interfering with um, the uh, group of, with Solo and everything, trying to steal the stuff from the train. And they came in and interfered with that um, Infest Nest and her group. But then you find out that, yes, it is a girl because she ends up taking her helmet off and it's a a younger like teenage girl and they're kind of like working this i believe it's like the start of the rebellion is what her group is technically doing and with the stuff they get from solo to, to be able to the um whatever the energy the coaxial stuff or whatever um the that stuff they're able to find and i believe start the rebellion with that so there you can see the awesome looking helmet so this is one of the character i really wanted to get in a pop form because mostly because of the helmet because it just looks so cool with the different design it almost looks like a skull and some of the t details like on the back here and then on the sides it looks like a skull 
um, and it has, you know, parts across it, like the f um, fissures of a sc uh, skull and everything. So that's really cool, and I like it's got the parts sticking up out of the head. Maybe that were ears of some animal that they've attached some metal into it, along with the jaw there as well, with these blades sticking out of it. And, of course, like a breather and a mask and everything there, and I really like that. Then on the back here, you can see she does have her, hip, like, ponytail sticking out, you know, that is a girl with a ponytail, and her hair sticking out there. Then going into her costume, looks just like a mix and match of, like, a native, like, costume. Um, so we have a cloak here with some fur along the top as well so it's got more fur going on in here um, then in the body as you can see there it's got that's why it reminds me of, like native like it's got like um, whatever the design I assume that's supposed to be like the breathing part as well too it's got its design around it looks like beading and stuff so like Native American beading and everything and then of course the pants design there also look like Native American leather um, and stuff so I like that as well. Um, going into it, it's got these um, little parts on its arms here so probably some form of gauntlet type things there. Then of course it, um, her weapon that she ends up you know like glows and she can use it to cut things or she was like cutting things and stuff with it. Um, so that was a really cool weapon that she had there too and then just got some normal boots like almost like modern day shoes or something going on there. Um, but I really like this character. I like the way it looked. I like the way she turned out in the movie as well and ended up being a good guy in the end. And so that's it for Emphis Ness. So that's going to be it for all of our solo pops. Of course, like I said, I didn't want to buy every single character. I'm still deciding on a couple if I want to end up getting them or not to add to the collection. But I think I'm pretty good with what I have for now. Again, like I said, it's not the whole collection. It's just a few random ones that I chose from. So I hope you enjoyed this Funko video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos. And we'll see you next time. Um...